Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I wanna show you how to convert audio to MIDI in Logic Pro using Flex Pitch, and as a bonus, I'll also show you how I convert polyphonic audio to MIDI using Melodyne. So let's say that you find a melodic idea within a loop or a bass line or even a vocal recording, and it's audio, so you can't just transpose the notes and swap out the instrument, something like this, for example. So this is just a loop from Splice in the key of E minor. And if it's pretty simple like this, it might actually be quicker for some people just to figure it out by ear. But if you're new to music theory and playing the keyboard, or maybe you're just new to producing music in general, converting audio to MIDI might be faster for you, but it's not a perfect process. Now to do this, you're gonna use flex pitch. So I'm gonna just select this track, solo it, click here to turn on flex and then make sure to click Flex Pitch, and this will analyze that melody, and you'll see all of the notes shown here, like piano roll. Now, Flex Pitch does have its limitations. As of Logic 10.6.3, which I'm on right now, you can only do this with monophonic recordings, meaning that the melodic idea here only plays one note at a time. So chords are not going to work for this. Any sort of recording where more than one note is being played at a time will not work. But like I said, I will show you a little bonus at the end of this video showing how to convert polyphonic material into MIDI using Melodyne. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just click on the top bar here of the region, double click on it, this will open up the file editor most likely. We wanna go over to the track editor. And in the track editor, make sure that you have flex pitch shown by clicking here. Then what you're gonna do is go to edit and then go down to create MIDI track from flex pitch data. Now what this will do is it will create an audio region just below the loop or whatever audio you're trying to convert here. It'll create a MIDI region based on the flex pitch analysis. Now it sounds super easy, but there's more work to be done. Let's give this a listen. It's really close, but there are some additional notes in here that need to go. So don't be surprised if you have to do some additional editing to get the melody the way you want it. So I'm gonna get rid of these little ghost notes here, ghost note down here. Sometimes notes will get cut up into multiple notes. So you can just delete those, drag them out, another little ghost note. And then there's one note here that's actually incorrect. The loop has like a tape effect on the front end of it. So the first note kind of scoops up. So flex pitch didn't know what to do with this note. As I mentioned, the loop is actually an E minor. So this is probably not E flat. It's probably E natural. So hold option, press up. So let's maybe pull that forward, pull that forward, and then let's quantize all of this to eighth notes. You'll just have to sort of observe the material and see what value you need to quantize it to. And there's like a little grace note here too, so I'm just gonna pull this back a bit just to have that in there. And then I'm also gonna hold option while I have all these selected and adjust the velocities so they're all the same. So I'm gonna do a couple things here. I'm just gonna sort of shorten this up. Same thing here. It was sort of like a da da da, not a da da da. Shorten this up a bit. And now the great thing is I can transpose this to, you know, whatever key I like. So my other loop up here is in the key of C minor. So right now, if I play these two together, they're probably not gonna sound too great. So I could just transpose this from E minor up to C minor or up or down to C minor. So here's the first note E, just select all the notes, hold option and press down till that first note is on C. Or you can go up an octave, shift option up and pull it up to a higher register. So that's the process of converting audio to MIDI in Logic. 
just working with monophonic material and flex pitch. Now, like I said before, Logic cannot convert polyphonic material to MIDI because flex pitch as of now doesn't support polyphonic detection like Melodyne does. So when I have a loop or something that I want to figure out the exact notes and it's maybe something I can't figure out by ear, I'll often use Melodyne for this. So on my lush piano loop up here, I'm just gonna load up Melodyne and you could use it in just the standard mode or you could use it in ARA mode. I'm not going to use it in ARA mode because I'm going to assume that some people watching this video are not just Logic users. So what I'll do is I'll just set the playhead to the beginning, click the transport for button and then just press play and it'll sort of input this loop into Melodyne. Now, by default, it's probably going to use monophonic detection, so it's just, it's just going to use one note at a time. So what I'll do is go up to Algorithm and set this to either Polyphonic Sustain or Decay. Decay is for things like acoustic guitar. It's also for piano, actually. Sounds that start loud and then noticeably decay over time. If it's a sound that sort of sustains for a while, you can use the Polyphonic Sustain algorithm. Typically, electric piano would be polyphonic decay, but this one sustains so much, I'm gonna use the sustain mode instead. It'll ask to change the algorithm, so click redetect, and there we go, there's all the chords. Now, you could just use this for the chord analysis up here, to, up top, and you could just play in your own chords, or you could convert this to MIDI, but notice there's a lot of notes that are sort of broken up, and we're gonna have to correct that, similar to how I corrected uh, the first example. So what I'll do is just go to settings, and click Save as MIDI. Then I'll just give this a name, I'll call this Chords 2, save it to the desktop, and now I can just drag in the MIDI file that it's created, just drag it in from the desktop. I'll open this up, and you'll see there's a lot of doubled and duplicated notes. But if it's chords, it's relatively easy to deal with these. So first I'm gonna to try to find any notes that I think are erroneous, I think this is one of them. There was also like a high note in the loop that was very faint and in the background. I'm gonna select that and delete it. And then I think the rest is good. So it looks like I've got two bars of one chord, then one bar of another chord, one bar of another chord, two bars of a chord, one bar, one bar. So I'm gonna use the glue tool, drag over all of these notes in this first chord, glue them together, and I'll do the same for these. And the reason why it, it's cutting these up is because the original loop had like a tremolo effect in it. And so uh, the audio signal was pulsing uh, and Melodyne uh, interpreted that as different notes. And there we go. Just trim up this last note here. And now I can integrate these chords into my composition. I have two MIDI regions here, both that I've extracted the MIDI from audio loops. Like I said before, this is not a perfect process by any means. It does take a bit of manual editing. And as far as I know, there aren't any easy ways to do this. You still have to do some manual editing of the MIDI to uh, get it in a format that's usable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.